75 acres so far, and Scott Reich has been over the scene all afternoon for us. And Scott, um, I guess they're making a quick work on that ridge line. Hey, yeah, it got to the top of the ridge and it stalled out, and uh, I, I think we might show you here in a moment, Kate, but uh, this is kind of interesting because you can see the firefighters have a wet line to the back of that home. Structure protection is in place, but there was a resident there just moments ago pushing her up with the hose, and they're just watering down the home just to make sure if a spot fire starts, you know, that uh, the uh, roof of that home is as wet as it can be. It almost looks like that could be uh, shingles there. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's one of the lanky tiles that look like shingles. Uh, and the, the, the wood ones can be uh, so wet. Uh, the tick off so quickly, but we'll come out of the shot a little bit and uh, open up. And that was the concern right there. Remember, I told you, I think they'll be okay and they'll hit it with a helicopter. We have some uh, tape that we, our video we rolled just moments ago, and the helicopters are so effective. I think we can go ahead and roll that now, and you'll just see them come right into that spot and drop water on it and just take it out completely. And uh, you can see how effective that is. Um, there's actually two of them. The Black Hawk came in. That's a thousand gallons out of, uh, it's a fire hawk, they call it but it's really a Sikorsky Blackhawk. But that gives you an idea, you know, if it starts to take off, they can call them in immediately. We did have one tanker uh, make a FOS check drop, which would be on the south side of the fire. I don't know if we'll see the red if we open up a little bit and go to the left there, Rob. Um, right down on that ridge line to the left side, there was a, a FOS check drop. So that will really make the fire stall out a little bit more as well. But it's a lot of white smoke. We haven't seen any spot fires away from the main portion of the blaze that would give us any concern. Uh, that's a couple of vacant lots right there at the end of one of the lots. There's some larger lots there on the north end of Beverly Hills. And uh, there's a lot of water there. Helicopters were landing there to uh, get uh, a load of water and then get back to the fire and make a drop. But if you were with us earlier, it certainly looks much, much better than it did uh, you know, 20 minutes ago, and especially better than it did an hour ago. So uh, I think we're seeing them really get this surrounded. Uh, without a wind change, I think we're going to be okay, and they'll be able to uh, protect all the structures. And we also, uh, Rob is so good at this, I wanted to mention this one more time. Uh, he was able to turn this around, and it isn't easy when you run the camera, and then you turn around video that he shot. Rob does that for us, and it's, it's pretty spectacular that he can do it so quickly. But that is a, a shot of the Foscheck drop. And that's retardant, and once the fire gets to something that's saturated with that retardant, uh, then uh, basically what you have is it just stops. So there's nothing really for it to burn, and you can see another drop right there. So that's extremely effective. they got a lot of resources on this. I wouldn't say we're out of the woods, but certainly things are looking better every moment that goes by. So